So I'm here at the BX and they have a new supplement section and it can be really intimidating if you don't know what you're looking for. So I usually have three criteria and they go in this order so I'm going to show you how I would pick and choose my supplements. The first thing you want to do is make sure that it's third party tested. So the big um, parties that you're looking for is either going to be NSF or informed choice. So as I go through here, I pick these up and I look for usually the stamp. If you look right here, this is informed choice. So this tells me that the FDA can say what is on the label is actually what's in it. If it doesn't have that third party stamp, then they could literally put dust from the floor inside there and it hasn't been checked. So I've looked at these three. This is informed choice. This one is also informed choice. And this one is NSF. So all three of these, um, they pass my first set of criteria. However, the ones that I've looked at, um, like Synthesix, uh, some of the other ones that I've uh, grazed through, the uh, Mass, Triple X, um, none of those have that third party stamp on it. So I immediately don't even go to the step two form. So I've gone step one, NSF, or informed choice. Step two is gonna be, uh, does it have in it what I'm looking for for my for what I'm looking to put into my diet. So for instance, if I weigh 125 pounds and I divide that by 2.2 and my consumption of protein should be um, one uh, gram per kilogram, then I know that I'm looking for roughly 56 grams of protein in my diet a day. Um, I may be off on my math just slightly. Uh, and I divide that by three. So I know for my post-workout, I wanna be consuming anywhere between 18 to 20 grams of protein, but anything more than that, I'm gonna make up for it in my diet because I know what I'm eating. So I look at these three protein powders. I have, this is whey protein isolate. Uh, this is also gonna be whey, it's soy and gluten free. Um, and this is protein smoothie. So I'm looking at here, this is 20 grams, 130 calories. 25 grams of protein, and if I'm not looking at calories, I don't need to look at it anymore, and then this is 32 grams of protein. So just based off of these three, I know what I'm looking for in my protein. I really want for me to be in this category. Um, however, if you have a higher weight in kilograms, then you're gonna be looking at something in the top of echelon. And then the third criteria is going to be, um, do you actually need it in your diet? So if you are consuming enough protein, you shouldn't be supplementing it. But if you aren't consuming enough protein, then you need to know how you're supplementing it and why you're supplementing it. If you're looking at your protein powders, you're looking at whey versus soy um, or casein. So uh, just know that your casein is gonna be your slow release protein and your whey is gonna be your fast release protein. So if you're using it for a post-workout, you're ideally looking for something that's gonna be uh, comprised of whey, um, not of casein. But if you're looking for something to kind of be like a meal replacement, you really want to consider something that's casein based because it's going to be slow release and it's going to keep you fuller longer. So I hope that this section becomes less intimidating and if you have any more questions, please feel free to let me know. Thanks.